hello guys so today i will explain you uh, what's the difference between deep learning and the machine learning so first of all you should keep in mind that deep learning is a part of machine learning and machine learning in turns is a part of artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is a set of techniques which tries to solve different kinds of problems one of the one of the part of artificial intelligence is machine learning where we try to do mostly predictive analytics or unsupervised kind of analytics which is like doing grouping or clustering but there are other parts also in ai inside machine learning we have deep learning deep learning mainly or you can say it it it, it involves only neural networks algorithms but specifically they are very deep and neural networks being used are very deep in the sense that the number of layers which are being used in the neural networks are very large so what's the reason of using the large number of layers that i will explain you but you should keep in mind that deep learning is a part of machine learning which which helps to parameterize neural networks with many many layers and parameters machine learning you must be knowing that it's 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 a field of uh, ai and where it tries to learn from the data instead of doing programming in programming what we do we give the inst instructions which are very static in nature that means if this happens then do this if that happens then do this but in machine learning what it does is it learns we have many algorithms like linear regression logistic regression support vector machine random forest decision tree these are algorithms and there are several algorithms which tries to learn from the data and can predict for the unknown data which is called as testing data so that is the purpose of machine learning deep learning purpose is also similar but it mainly uses the neural networks deep learning deep neural networks and why does it require a uh, deep neural networks because there are certain problems which which is very difficult to be handled by by just simple algorithms like um like uh, boosting algorithms or ensemble algorithms random forest decision tree because because it is you need to create a lot of features so suppose uh suppose you are given the problem let's let's say you you want to predict that this there is one phase and you want to you have the data which has set of uh, all these faces and you want to predict uh, the name name of this face so say for each of the faces say for this face you have different many images of this face then for second phase you have many images of that face so what you are going to do you are going to train the data you want to learn from the data that if if this image co is coming from from this person x or person y so how would you know in typical machine learning you would do you would create the features features in the sense you would uh, you would uh, you would find that uh, where is the eye what is the distance between this nose and eye what is the oh, what is the forehead width what what is the size of uh, this chin so you will try to create a lot of features you have to create a lot of features inside the faces which are being shown here so in on the second step on the third step it then it tries to see you can see the there are features of eyes nose separately and then you try in the fourth image what you see different different uh, faces you 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 can see the faces 
complete faces which are trying to figure out that if it is a face or not so now what you are doing is you give the this face as the input to the neural network which is shown in the first step in the lower row then you in the second layer it tries to create the features like this which is given in the second step then it tries to create the features like in the third step and similarly it tries to create the features which are given in the fourth step so given uh, simple machine learning you cannot create all these features manually so deep learning what does it do is it tries to create automatically all these kinds of features that's why there is an importance of deep learning in face recognition so this is a problem of face recognition where you have to recognize the face of a person so so you give the input as the face because face is a 2d image so this is x and y so it is given as so all these features are given as like this 2d image and then you create subset of all these and you do pooling and there lot of processes are being done during the deep learning and that is a different context but what the main purpose is to create lot of lot of features inside the inside this images so that you can uh, discriminate the face of uh, of an say say the face of uh, face of a person by the face of uh, any animal so you can also uh, discriminate the face of some person x to the face of person y so you have to create a lot of features and these features creation is not possible manually that's why we use automated neural networks which have deep number of large number of layers inside hidden layers that's why it is being called as deep neural networks deep learning so say there is another example where uh, say if you want to predict the value of house and you are given two predictive variables like house area and the number of rooms so what you you apply the machine learning algorithm say you apply the uh, linear regression you get the uh, coefficients of each of these uh, variable and also you create one more variable which is area per room and that is uh, uh, that is manually created in the machine learning but in deep learning what you do is you just uh, give this uh, variable house area and rooms deep learning will automatically create new features and then try, try to predict the value of house so it, what it does is from the house area and rooms it creates room ratio and then it tries to integrate this feature with the house area with these coefficients and then finally it predicts the value of house so deep learning you don't have to worry about feature extraction and feature creation so that is a purpose but if for simple problems machine learning is very useful because you have to uh, you can interpret that what we are doing but in the deep learning you do not know what uh, what are the features being created by by uh, by this uh, by the complete process of deep learning during the complete process of deep learning because these are hidden inside but you you can extract these uh, feature maps but the uh, but you cannot interpretation is little little more difficult than machine learning in machine learning you know that what you have created and how you have created whether you have done the log transformation or is it squaring or you have taken the subtraction or addition in the deep learning it, it creates automatically the features which are which are shown here in the second layer and the third layers so uh, we are not interested in uh, the feature extraction in the deep learning the main purpose is to just discriminate the uh, say for face uh, whether if you can recognize the face or not so the main purpose is to discriminate so, but this purpose is being fulfilled by deep learning and that's why it is being useful also it is deep learning is used in voice recognition it is also used in uh, video recognition uh, um, so a lot of a uh, lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, areas it is being used also text text analytics or you can say natural language processing deep learning is very useful because we have to create a lot of features to understand the language also you need to create a lot of features and that features creation or extraction is not possible in, in typical machine learning but by deep learning you can create uh, um, deep learning will create automatically all these kinds of features it will get it will train the data and it can then 
you can see the uh, error in the testing data so uh, for this case see there are 10 layers and one uh, 1 billion parameters are there which is not being possible manually so 10 million images were there and 1 billion parameters has to be trained and uh, for this one which we are showing so and uh, by GPU it took uh, 30 days to train this data so you can imagine that manually machine learning uh, you cannot do uh, training of 1 million parameters that's why this is important a uh, field and it is an important for uh, mostly face recognition and voice recognition and NLP natural language processing and there are other fields as well uh, where like uh, robotics uh, and uh, where you have to automate it automate the things uh, there you can do the uh, deep learning but for machine learning purpose there uh, the interpretation is very important you can interpret the data and you can explain to your boss that what is happening in, in the data and you can show in uh, visually in the charts that these are the features which are important for the sales and these are the features which are not important for the sales and uh, these are the features which i have created for 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 explaining these kind of sales dip or sales uh, increase but deep learning uh, the features which are being extracted you cannot visualize or uh, you can visualize but that doesn't you cannot interpret easily uh, that what is happening because a lot of features are there and they are well connected to each other as they are connected in the neural networks so thanks for watching this video uh, please do not forget to subscribe and like this video